After studying this module, we shall be able to understand a consumer's behavior, his needs, and key characteristics. Learn the law of demand. Differentiate between demand and quantity demanded. Identify the factors affecting demand. An understanding of the consumer's behavior helps us to understand the reasons why a typical consumer behaves in a certain manner. This is done with the help of modern economics. The study of consumer behavior describes the decision making or the choice process of a consumer. It systematically studies individuals' economic behavior and phenomena when faced with a set of choices and some constraints. Consumer theory aims to model economic behavior or activities of the individuals pursuing his or her own interests. A major step for studying an economic issue is to make assumptions about individual's behavior. A key assumption about an individual's behavior is that an individual is self-interested. A consumer can be characterized by many factors and aspects such as tastes, income, wealth, age, lifestyle, ability, intelligence, etc. But which are most important ones for us to study consumer behavior in making choices? A basic question which arises is, how does a consumer mainly choose a good to be consumed? The theory is very simple. Economists assume that consumers choose the best bundle of goods they can afford. In this module, we will focus on basic concepts related to factors affecting consumers' preferences. We will describe consumers' preferences and behavior and study how it gets converted into demand. This will be well explained with the help of fundamental concept of individual demand. It will be followed by the concept of market demand, factors affecting demand, and from these we will derive the law of demand. Consumer behavior is the study of consumers as they exchange something of value for a good or service that satisfies their needs. The key characteristic of a consumer consists of three essential components, the consumption set, initial endowments, and the preference relation. Consumption set is a set of all individually feasible alternatives or combinations of X and Y, and it is sometimes also called the choice set. An initial endowment represents the amount of various goods the consumer initially has and can consume or trade with other individuals. The preference relation specifies the consumer's taste or satisfaction for different objects of choice. It satisfies certain standard properties of reflexivity, transitivity, and completeness. Demand is defined as the consumer's willingness and ability to pay for a particular good at a particular price. The shape of demand curve is downward sloping. The various reasons for same are the law of diminishing marginal benefit, the income effect, increase in the number of consumers and the substitution effect. It's scorching heat and a person is really thirsty. He is willing to pay a good amount to get thirst quenching one glass of water. This is because he is getting immense benefit from this one glass of water. From the second glass of water, the additional benefit he derives is a little less than the benefit from the first bottle. Hence, he is willing to pay a little less for the second one. The economist's term for this additional benefit is marginal benefit. And so he derives even a little less benefit from third glass and would pay even lesser. This explains the law of diminishing marginal utility. Other things being equal, when the price of a commodity decreases, real income or purchasing power of household increases. The consumer can now buy more commodities at same price. Hence, at lower prices, there is a greater demand for commodity and so downward sloping demand curve. When price falls, the demand for a commodity increases, not only from the existing buyers but also from the new buyers who were earlier unable to purchase at higher price. This leads to a downward sloping demand. When price of a good increases, it becomes relatively expensive. So consumers demand for substitute goods. For example, 
if the price of tea increases people would switch to its substitute which becomes relatively cheaper and thus demand for coffee increases this is another reason why demand curve is downward sloping an individual demand curve shows the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded market demand is the sum of demands of all individuals willing and able to buy a particular good or service the non price determinants of change in demand are income of the consumer price of related goods taste and preferences expected future price with more income you are able to purchase a larger quantity of the goods at the same price this will lead to a rightward shift in the demand curve similarly a fall in income shifts the demand curve to left such goods are called normal goods for example clothes there are certain goods that you buy less of when your income increases such goods are called inferior goods for example frozen dinner there are two main types of related goods substitutes and complements substitutes are good that can be used in place of each other to satisfy the same want examples of substitutes are ipods and other mp3 players for listening to music Complements on the other hand are ones that tend to be used together to satisfy the same want. For example, fuel and vehicle are complementary to each other. Two consumers L and M need a car, but L's preference may differ from that of M's. L may like to buy a red one whereas M may prefer black. Besides price, there are other factors of a good which attracts a consumer like shape, size, brand, etc. Hence An increase in preferences causes increase in demand, and vice versa. An expected future price fall causes a decrease in demand today. An expected future price rise causes an increase in demand today. All these factors from A to D lead to a leftward or a rightward shift in the demand curve, as against movement along the demand curve, which is due to change in on price of the good. if we consider all the factors which impact then the demand equation is given by the mathematical relationship qx is equal to a function of px py m and h it means the quantity demanded of good x is a function of price of good x the price of related goods y the income level of consumers m or money income and other factors like personal preferences and expectation of future prices represented by h this leads us to the law of demand the law of demand states that are the things being equal if the price of a good or service rises the quantity demanded of the good or service decreases that is increase in px causes decrease in qt mathematically representing P1 minus P2 multiplied by function of P1 minus function of P2 is less than zero, where P1 is not equal to P2 and P1 is original price and P2 is new price after the change. To summarize, we studied about the consumer behavior and its three essential components: the consumption set, initial endowments, and the preference relation. Next, we learn the definition of demand and four reasons for its downward slope. the law of diminishing marginal benefit the income effect increase in the number of consumers and the substitution effect we also studied the non price determinants of change in demand which are income of the consumer price of related goods tastes and preferences expected future price finally we have learned about the demand equation and law of demand